Live from Philadelphia, this is Fox 29 News at 10. The Congressional Committee will hear testimony tomorrow from Mattel CEO and other experts on lead paint and Chinese-made toys. This led to the recall of about 20 million toys. You remember this. One Philadelphia mother was following the hearings closely because she fears her little girl got sick from one of those contaminated toys. Fox 29, Cindy Hamill is live in the newsroom with more. Cindy? Well, Diana Downing happened to find out her daughter had lead poisoning through a routine checkup. The toy is being processed to make sure that it is being tested to determine if the three-year-old's favorite Elmo doll is making her sick. Poor appetite, poor weight gain, anemia. Three-year-old Kalia Smith struggles with lead poisoning, with levels nearly three times that which is considered dangerous. I'm being told that if the lead does not flush out of her system, that it will move through her body. It can affect her joints and, um, you know, it can affect her brain. And so we don't know. We're just in limbo waiting to see. We pray that it's out of her system, but what is going to happen next? Diana Downing says her house and Kalia's daycare were checked for lead, but came out clean. She assumes her daughter was contaminated by her favorite Elmo toy, which is on the recall list with about 20 million Mattel toys made in China. If it is um, the toy that I purchased, I think that um, the company should be responsible for everything that my daughter needs as of this point. Thanks for the apology. Thanks for replacing the Chinese-made toy with another Chinese-made toy. Now let's pay for the lead testing. Jeffrey Colino of Woolishin and Colino filed a class action lawsuit against Mattel. He wants the company to pay for children to be tested. He says a two million dollar fine is not enough to get the attention of a company that makes five billion dollars a year. Children will have lowered IQs, behavioral problems, learning disabilities, and a whole myriad of problems associated with neurotoxin. Lead is a dangerous neurotoxin. I keep hearing people say is that um, they check the recall list, and I'm beyond the recall list, just have your child tested because it may not be on a recall list. And Mattel immediately implemented new regulations, which include paint used only from certified suppliers, tightened controls throughout the production process, tests done on every production run before it reaches consumers, and Mattel is limiting its subcontracting work. A Mattel spokesperson would not talk today about this or any pending lawsuit. In the newsroom, Cindy Hamill, Fox 29 News. All right, thanks, Cindy. Along with Mattel's CEO, officials with the Consumer Product Safety Commission will testify at tomorrow's congressional hearing.